and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karin Odermatt and today we are going to look at the shape which is a bit like an arrow shape. But to be honest, I don't know the name. So if you know it, please leave a comment below and tell me how it's called. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's really helping a lot if you do that. And uh, yeah, if you like what you see, give me a thumb up so I know which direction to go. And if you want to have a little bit more individual training, check out the Patreon, which is below. Let's go. This shape, you will start with one leg hanging into the top hoop. So decide which leg you want to have straight, because that will be the leg which you are going to place bended into the hoop and the other leg will be straight there. So just think, just before you start, know which side is going to be the leg which is going behind for the bow position. And also you have to think that the opposite hand will be the supporting hand here. And the same hand like the leg in the back will be the one which is holding in your back. So if you have a stronger or weaker side, although I recommend that you do both sides, but if you have, think about that before you start it. So what you do is both hands up here, one, two o'clock and 10, 11 o'clock, because you want to have space to put in one knee. So that's the first thing you do. You hang in your knee and you place your second foot behind around the strop from the inside like this. So your whole body is a little bit on one side. Then you release the same hand like the leg in the strap, take the hoop and turn, turn, push a little bit in this direction. So your shoulder is coming onto the hoop. And now you're gonna turn your body so you're looking in this direction. So I'm going to turn my entire body a little bit. So I'm coming into a direction where I look at the hoop. So I'm changing my body position. This hand is grabbing like this, push the elbow in. Next thing which is happening is that you are straightening your leg back. You have to see that you are really in the middle of your hip, really in the middle. Once you are there, you straighten your back leg and then you take your other foot down and place it bent onto the hoop. Look down, straighten your back leg even more. For coming back, take your back leg, put it in, either go back to the beginning, then you can re-grip and slide down and then whatever, here. There you have the entire move. What you have to think about, which is important, is that you really get your hand between your uh, glutes, that you really have it in the middle, because you wanna have your leg free to push it down as much as you can, so that's really important. And also, really, really push it through, because you think you have it straight, but in that position, it's easy that it looks bent. So. Focus on tensing your leg all you can and look down to open your chest as much as possible. These is two things which will make the shape much more pretty because it's a really nice shape for a photo shoot or something. I think this is the two most important things. Other than that, it's training. Make sure you have someone holding you. Make sure you have a good safety mat when you do it the first time. And if you have a good try, please tag me with it. Or if you have any question, if you need some help how to do it better, send it to me. You find me on Instagram. Karin Odermatt coach and yeah I'm so happy you're here again subscribe to my channel it makes a big difference it helps me it doesn't make any work for you and if you want to follow all the tutorials you will be the first one to be notified and yeah see you next Wednesday for a new tutorial thanks for watching bye